Have you ever had something or someone get you into one of those endless frustration loops where no matter what you try, no matter how much you try to talk yourself out of it, you are just like a pit bull on a poodle and you're not seeing a way out of all of that frustration back to your, your desired peace and harmony? Yeah, yeah, I think that happens to everybody at some point. Well, that happened to me recently, and I was blessed enough to have someone give me a very useful tip that made all of the difference and really got me back to peace of mind, and I want to share that with you. Hi, this is Susan at The Rock Shop at 311 Broadway, Historic, downtown Paducah, where positive energy works, and today I want to share that tip with you. And let me give you a little background. Um, this is with a person who is very important to me, but we see the world from really different points of view. Our worldviews are about as opposite in most cases as you can possibly imagine. And we respect that of each other, but there are times when um, our two worldviews collide and they, they're not terribly harmonious. And that happened recently. And as a result, I got into one of those frustration loops and um, one side said, well, I have to be in this really deep relationship with this person, um, even though it doesn't feel very harmonious. And I, it was just like nails on a chalkboard and it just was making me nuts. And the angels have told me in the past that I need only to participate in relationships and situations up to the level that it brings me joy. So I, I know I have permission not to be immersed in situations that are not harmonious. But you know, when some people and some things come into your life, um, it's, it's hard to, to not get all tangled up in that frustration loop. So on one hand, I was beating myself up because I was taking a stand and that was creating uh, some dissonance in the relationship to the point where we may not have much common ground. And on the other hand, it's like, well, I need to take care of myself and this is an important issue and um, I'm not willing to compromise much on this one. You know, and those two things were in diametric uh, opposition to one another. And it was keeping me up at night. So thankfully, my friend gave me this tip. She said, first of all, take a nice deep breath, close your eyes, and see yourself as nothing but energy. So that you're just a ball of light with all of these little sparkly things going on all around you. And that's, that's your energetic you. That's you, okay? And you are the controller of what colors you want your light to be and what frequencies you want your light to uh, sound like. Basically, this is your orchestra. And if you like to sing in the key of B flat, then you can sing in the key of B flat. But it's just energy. Okay, take Susan or your personality out of it. Okay, so I did that for a second. And then the instructions are to see this person or a situation uh, as nothing more than energy. So in my case, it was a person. So I take this person and I remove the identity from this energy. And all I do is I see this person as nothing but their pure energy. So I see them in their light and whatever color and frequencies and, and, and energetic feel it has, it's not the person, it's just their energy. So there's no ego or personality attached to it. Okay, took a minute, but I got there. So then the next part of the exercise is, does this ball of energy and its frequency and its light, is it harmonious and benefit your frequency and your harmony and your light. And if it does, then you can co-mingle those energies. 
If it doesn't, then those energies are going to clash and compete. And because we all get to choose what color and what frequencies we want to resonate with, it's perfectly acceptable not to bring that energy into your inner circle. This isn't news. I know this. But that exercise really made a big difference for me. In case you don't like to talk about energetic beings, okay, let's flesh this out in a slightly different way. So let's say that you, uh, as a person, you get to, um, to run your orchestra. All you want are pianos and keyboards. That's your gig, okay? Nothing but piano music. Nothing wrong with that. That's what you chose. That's what, that's what resonates with you. Pianos. And there's someone over there who is playing a kazoo. Nothing wrong with kazoos. That's great. But they are really an important person to you. And they're like, Hey, I want to sit in on your orchestra and I want to play kazoo. Now the problem is they don't, they don't play keyboards. They don't, it's a kazoo. Not that there's anything wrong with kazoos. It's just that you want to play pianos. Nothing against the person. Nothing against the kazoo. It just doesn't match up with what you want to resonate at. Okay? It's just not harmonious. It doesn't fit in your orchestra. So instead of saying, well, I can't have anything to do with you because you play kazoo and you can't play with me. Okay. What you can say is I just choose to uh, resonate with pianos. And so, um, if this person really wants to play in your orchestra, there's nothing saying that they can't play in your orchestra, but they need to play pianos or keyboards. Okay. And if you decide you want to play kazoo in their orchestra, that's fine too. But the kazoo doesn't work in your piano concerto. And once I really was taking the ego uh, of this person out of the energy or the kazoo frequency, it was like, okay, I, it makes sense. And it took me about another day to stop the frustration loop and get to the place where I was back in harmony. I can love this person. Um, I don't have to agree with them and I don't, I don't need for them to change their mind. They can continue to play the kazoo. It's, it's not up to me to tell them what instrument they should play, but they don't, they don't have all rights and all privileges to play in my orchestra, which is focused on piano. And that really did help me. So I hope that little tip helps you work through whatever situation, whether it's work related or family related or friend or, or spouse or even child related. When you have a situation that is causing you a disruption, my advice is to stop and observe what the, the dissonance is. Okay. And once you, once you get to that place, then you can ask yourself, oh, am I trying to let kazoos come in and play when all I'm, I really want to do is play piano? Um, and if the answer is yes, then you can, you can just say, I'm sorry, but we're not playing kazoo music today. Nothing against you, nothing against the kazoo. We're just not playing kazoos. So I hope that helps. This is Susan at the Rock Shop at 311 Broadway, historic downtown Paducah, where positive energy works. Make it a very harmonious day. Namaste.